Have you ever wanted to do a Steadicam movie shot or a slider shot but not have a slider? Well, surprisingly, you probably can do it just fine with holding the camera. So I was shooting this real estate job over a couple of days and the first day we shot a whole bunch of um, beautiful homes in the LA area. And we were going for a very smooth, professional, kind of continuous push-in look. We had a slider, we, uh, we went to the location, we undid the tripods, we set the tripods up, we connected the slider, we connected the camera to the slider, and then it all took about 10 minutes. Um, then we would push in, um, get our shot, then we would take the camera off the slider, we'd take the, tri the slider off the tripod legs, we would go upstairs or we'd move it to wherever we wanted, we set it up again and it took about an hour per location getting five or six shots. By the end of the day, we were running late and we just had one more location. I figured I would do a manual push in just by holding the camera and moving slightly forwards and I would try and stabilize it in post. When I got home, these shots actually looked better than the slider shots. They looked more like movie shots. They had a little bit more drift to them. They had a little bit more personality and character to them. So then on the second shoot day, we covered about, we had three more locations to do. And I was in and out of them in like 10 minutes because I just held the camera to my chest, move back and forth in and out um, about a foot just by uh, not actually taking a step, just by moving my body and um, holding the camera uh, to my chest. When I got home, and stabilize them, they looked amazing again. So this is really, if you're just doing a short little push in, this can be an awesome technique to know about. You have to take advantage of a couple of things. We were delivering a 2K master. So we were shooting in 4K, that gave us the room to stabilize in post. And we were also delivering in um, 24 frames per second. So we shot at 60 frames a second. So when I brought the footage into Premiere, the first thing I did was interpret the footage as a 24 frames per second, which means it slowed the footage down by two and a half times. So now I had a much slower push in. Then I used the warp stabilizer in Premiere to stabilize the footage. Um, and it gave me this amazing result. Some of them were then too slow, so I had to speed them up. Um, and some of them I used the I was going backwards and forth and I used the backwards so then I had to reverse them. So it's a little bit of work in post but the result that I got moving in and out of these places and for real estate not risking damaging this one of the apartments we shot in was 5.3 million dollars and I really didn't want to drag around you know the sharp ends and the pointy pieces of a tri of tripods and sliders and this was just the perfect solution to getting this kind of coverage it worked out really really great actually made me think of how far you can push a technique like this could you start to walk with the camera i should also say that we're shooting on the canon 17 to 55 2.8 lens that's stabilized and we we're shooting at the 17 mil we were getting a much wider frame of view than i actually wanted which allowed the warp stabilizer to crop in you know, 10 or 15% in order to stabilize the footage. I really am going to experiment more with this and see if I can actually get a pretty cool um, movie Ronin shot by just walking with the camera like this and seeing if I can stabilize that in post and get rid of the actual big bumps. But to do a push in on a slider, this worked better than a slider for me. So um, check it out, see what you guys can get from it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.